Hey guys, this is Elise. I'm a licensed professional counselor and coach. I am the organizer of the project CCFIARH, which stands for Catholic and Christian Friends for Intersectional Racial Healing, where we have conversations between friends about race from personal experience and using our personal voices. This video is of closing comments. A few of my friends, out of all the participants, felt comfortable to share some of their closing thoughts to be quoted and shared with you. Adora shared, it was helpful for me to dialogue about issues I normally only discussed with people like myself. It helped me put myself in other people's shoes. Pam shared, I apologize for not completing the project, which is an example of how my privilege manifests as a poor ally. Keith shared, I think that there are a lot of people who have yet to understand how racism works, but I am encouraged by the number of people willing to learn. Udi shared, this experience really focused me to reflect on the idea of comparative suffering. It also strengthened my stand on the importance of empathy. I enjoyed having the space to share my and listen to others' experiences. Seeing everyone's bold vulnerability motivates me to continue having these conversations with people in my life. Rebecca shared, this was a great experience to be part of. It was very natural and enjoyable. Since the project, I've been processing my identity a lot and how and who I have conversations with by continuously checking my heart and practicing to listen. I've had to be vulnerable with myself and understand that identity can change and sometimes stay the same and that God uses it all differently. I'm also grateful to have Elise as a friend and to have been invited to have my voice heard in this project. Elise was a great example of sharing encouragement and affirmation when listening to her friends and their stories. As for me, I have a few thoughts in my reflections about this project and how this experience was for me. First, I felt convicted to share this sort of project because there is a lack of information out there to de-scarify race as a talking point in personal and professional conversations on a face-to-face -face and one-to-one -one kind of level. I'm a therapist, a coach, and I have the background and expertise areas to know that it absolutely does not have to be a threatening point of conversation. Second, I felt really honored I have friends who trust me enough to participate in this sort of very vulnerable table talk in a public way, in a permanent-ish sort of way, where a recording lives online perpetually. Third, I'm grateful to have found a way that as a licensed healthcare worker, I can safely disclose some information about me and to engage with my friends that is productive and helpful for my previous, current, and potential future patients and clients. Lastly, I'm thankful I have really good friends who want to give to others the same gift and intention of encouraging the public from the hard work we have each done individually and collectively. I know it takes a lot of hard work to show up fully and have conversations that feel vulnerable. I hope that this encourages viewers to take one baby step in front of another, to be and to continue being courageous. Change can require sacrifice, but the most worthy of causes, usually that which is founded in love, can be done together so that less and less people are left behind, left to the side, or left in isolation. God bless.